Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Gabby and I am trying to get back in shape after I had my baby. So we have just been doing workout challenges and I've done a couple so far and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong and I'm ready to keep going. I look pretty different than I do in the video you're about to see. I film all my intros after I do the challenge, so don't want to spoil the results, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing the 2021 Chloe Ting Summer Shred Challenge. I feel like when I started this challenge, I was pretty familiar with her style of working out, so it was a lot easier to, um, to know what to expect from her, so I think that helped a lot doing this 28 day challenge. I'm just excited to take you guys along and I hope you enjoy this video. See you at the end. Well, hello. I am certain that I will make an intro for this video when this challenge is all said and done. So I'm not gonna doink around. I know that Chloe Ting just released another workout challenge. So let us see. Let's go to her website and see what it is. Yeah, it's just called the 2021 Summer Shred Challenge. And it's 28 days, so we're in this one. Um, things that could be a problem during this challenge. I'm moving. So, first of all, my apartment is in complete chaos. So, as you watch me work out, just ignore the piles of shit everywhere. <laughs> like I said, not going to doink around. Let's jump into it um like last time i think i'll do the warm-up but i will not do the cool down um hopefully my lovely little bing bong baby who by the way is four months old today um hopefully she stays asleep so that i can get through this because it's 35 minutes so what that probably means is like 45 minutes so let's do this thing day one here we go. Okay, did the first workout of the first day and uh, pleasantly surprised. There were no planks. If you watch my the first Chloe Ting challenge I did, uh, way too many planks, made me very, very unhappy. So, good start for this challenge. No planks. Let's keep the no plank party going. Okay, immediately had to eat my words. She brought all the planks in the second workout with the abs. So, my original rule was gonna be I'm only doing five plank exercises a day, but that might be asking too much because she did six in a literal 10 minute workout. So, I think I will limit it to five plank exercises per video and side planks don't count because side planks don't hurt me so i can do side planks but so five regular plank workouts per video and then like when she hit her sixth plank one i just did a different ab workout as a substitute because i'm just not going to do it this time it freaking hurts and i would curse if that was okay in videos i hate planks i'm not going to freaking do them so five plank workouts per video and then I will do something else. Them's the rules. Oh my god. Can we just have a shout out for my beautiful baby child who slept that entire time so I did a full workout without any interruptions. I don't want to say that we're developing a pattern or anything because it's only been two days in a row, but her morning nap, she slept for two hours yesterday morning. And if any of you are unfamiliar with my beautiful little bean, she takes 30 minute naps. <laughs> so 
This is a big deal for me. I actually have time to get things done. So, oh my God, I can't believe I got a whole workout done. It's a freaking miracle. Anyway, I wanted to just take a moment and talk about body image because I've been having a very rough time appreciating my body right now. Um, I was good. I was feeling really good about myself until a couple weeks ago. We had to go to a wedding and so I was trying on like my nicer outfits, like my dresses and you know, whatever, and things weren't fitting. And I got really down on myself because it's like, I felt like I was making all this like physical progress and then for things still not to be fitting, it just kind of like messes with your head a little bit. So I've been kind of struggling with that. Um, and the crazy thing is, and I don't know if I've mentioned this in previous videos or not, but when I was like down to 120 pounds, I still like, I knew that I was in better shape and I did have more confidence, but I would still look at myself in the mirror and just like pick out all the things that were wrong. And when I look at those images of myself now, I'm like, holy hell, I was in amazing shape. I looked great. Like, I want to get back to that. But then I just, I know how my brain was when I was there and it still wasn't good enough. So I know that no matter how fast I get back down to that weight or whatever, I have to work on the way that I view myself because that's not going to change from losing weight. Like I'm still going to feel how I feel about myself regardless of the amount of weight that I have. So I'm really trying to work on like positive body image. So it's been rough. Like I said, kind of had a setback there when I was trying on clothes, but I'm trying to just like, just like, this is my body and I love it, even though I don't. Just keep saying it, just keep putting it out there and, you know, some days are better than others, but that's where I stand right now. Anyway, day one's done, it feels good to get back into it. Um, I think I pulled my hamstring on my right side, so we'll see how that feels tomorrow. But uh, yeah, woo, day one done. Okay, day two has commenced. I am freaking sore, just like I thought I'd be. I'm actually more sore than I expected. It's like the kind of sore where it hurts when you sit down on the toilet, that kind of ouch. So uh, today should be interesting. Though I just pulled up day two and it says it's only 20 minutes and it says upper body and core 10 minutes and then toned arms, no equipment. So there's only two workouts for the day. Well, I guess three if you include the warm up, but anywho, short one. So let's do it. Okay, day five. So I'm still feeling kind of sore in my legs from like day one of this whole thing, which is kind of crazy. Um, I don't think I was sore for that long the first time I did a Chloe Teen challenge, but maybe I'm just trying harder this time. I don't know. But um, my legs are still kind of sore, but uh, whew, that arm workout today was a beast. She like back to back arm workout so like 20 minutes of arms and I think I'm gonna be feeling that tomorrow I'm not going to be doing anything different with my diet just like last time I'm still seeing the number on the scale going down and I haven't really had to adjust anything uh, 
like I stated in the last Chloe Teen Challenge video, I, uh, I'm fairly responsible with my food. Compared to how I lost all the weight in 2019, it's, uh, I'm hardly trying at all. I really do think that breastfeeding is having a huge impact on my ability to continue to lose weight. So thank God for that because I can mostly eat whatever I want. But uh, anyway, yeah, so until we stop seeing motion or productivity in the getting in shape department, I'm not going to adjust my diet because I want to make sure I keep my milk supply up and I don't want to decrease calories too much because of that. So anyway, I think that's everything I wanted to update you guys on. But yeah, feeling really, really good about this challenge. But I feel like there was one other thing that I want to talk about. Oh, <laughs> my crazy hair. Okay, so over the next few weeks, you're going to see my hair get lighter and lighter because I'm trying to get it back to blonde. So we have a lot of work to do. And that means that I don't wash my hair for like a week at a time. Because if you know anything about bleach, it's real, real bad for your hair. And I just keep putting it in my hair. So I basically don't wash my hair for a week, do the bleach wash, and then obviously wash my hair. So once a week I wash my hair. I'm showering every day. Don't worry about that. It's just I'm not washing my hair. So it gets pretty gross looking throughout the week, but it's all to protect my hair for the bleaching. So anyway, main point is my hair is going to look pretty crazy over the next couple of weeks because you obviously can't go straight from bright red to bleach blonde. There's a progression there in between. So anyway, I know that has nothing to do with working out, but wanted to throw that in there just in case you notice some uh, differences occurring. Anyway, that's all I get. Okay, it is day seven, which is a rest day. Uh, I don't think I actually recorded my opinion after yesterday's workout, but there were three booty workouts. Oh my God, it was amazing and awful all at the same time. I love a good leg and butt workout, uh, but it was a lot. Whew. But weirdly, I'm not that sore yet, so I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop because I'm certain by the end of the day, I'm not going to be able to walk, so <laughs> we will see about that. But anyway, I just wanted to pop in and say that I really enjoyed yesterday's workout, which was nice, and show you little Miss Lady here. Okay, well, anyway, that's all.
Okay, just for the sake of knowing where I am when I'm editing this, I just finished day 15. So we have a little Miss Lady. Hi! She's getting so good at tummy time. She just like rolls herself over and just hangs out. Right? Yeah, you're just hanging out. Anyway, um, so just finished day 15. So we officially just started week three, which is crazy. It doesn't feel like I've done this for two weeks. But uh, anyway, uh, on the downhill of this whole thing. But I just looked ahead and we had to do like five days in a row this week, which is crazy. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, don't mind my crazy hair. Like I said, we are in the bleaching process. We just did our fourth round of bleach. And this is the color we're at. So still got a lot of red in there, but uh, um, we're getting there. So uh, we'll see what this looks like after I, you know, shower and dry my hair. Right now I have a deep conditioning treatment in. I do that after every bleach session. So uh, yeah, anyway, like I said, day 15, going strong. And uh, yeah, a lot of planking. Don't love that, but I guess that's just kind of the deal. Okay, good news, bad news. Good news is, I moved and we're in a house and it's wonderful um, bad news I haven't worked out in two weeks my plan was to work out through the move however moving is exhausting and unpacking is exhausting so I originally when I decided to take a break was only gonna take a week because that was gonna be the move but then we moved and I've spent the entire past week organizing and unpacking and all of that. So, um, now we're two weeks later and I'm gonna try to get back into this. I think I only had a week left of the challenge. So I'm guessing we're into some pretty big workouts, but if I remember correctly, the next one I was supposed to do was a really short one, like just a booty workout day. So, oh, I'm going to be so sore. That's okay. We're going to jump back into it. Let me figure out where I left off. And we're just going to finish this thing. Oh, also, over the past couple weeks, I've been eating like crap. So, I think I've gained some weight, which sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. So, I'm kind of afraid to step on the scale. But, anyway. The results will speak for themselves at the end of this week so anyway let's do a workout okay we did it first day back that was actually day 18 so we have 10 days left of this workout challenge so not too bad actually I'm glad we're gonna have a little bit more than a week so and I realized during the warm-up that now that we're in a house and I'm not on the third floor of an apartment I can do all the jumping exercises without bothering neighbors so do a little more uh, high intensity workouts right bingo yeah <laughs> she's about had it with me she's ready to move on so Oh, also, yesterday, she turned five months old. You five months old. I was looking back at the first exercise video that I posted, and she was two and a half months old when I started. You were so little. Now she's a big girl, aren't you? Anyway, I'm gonna try really hard to do a five month update. I said that at four months, and then now she's five months and I didn't do it. So, hopefully this time, but we'll see. Anyway, day 18. Went well. We'll see how sore I am tomorrow.
Okay, just finished day 25. So, three days left in this challenge. Um, so, you know how I said I took two weeks off and I felt like I wasn't losing weight because I was eating really shitty? So, like, last week sometime, I snuck away in and I have not lost any weight. So, kind of disappointed in myself slash the whole getting away with eating shitty because I'm breastfeeding thing isn't really paying off anymore. And I said when I stopped making progress, I would get my diet stuff together. So I'm going to finish this workout challenge and do my weigh in and see where I'm at. I really, really, really wanted to be at 135, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So disappointed in my self control, but I think for our next workout challenge, I'm going to really have to reassess the diet portion of things because in the end, that's what's going to make the biggest difference. By the way, I'm dog sitting, so that's why I'm in a different place. But as everyone knows, diet is pretty much the only thing that matters. I can work out all day and all night and it won't make a difference unless I change how I eat. So, uh, not looking forward to that but we're gonna do what we gotta do. So, anyway, that is my update. We have three days left and then this challenge has been completed. It's the final day. So excited. I look terrifying. I'll shower and clean up after this. Don't fret. It's a long one. It is a long one. We have a 20 minute hit, a 10 minute fat burn, and a 10 minute abs. So, ugh. I'm just ready to be done with this thing. I want to do something new. Okay, let's do it. Okay, just finished the Chloe Ting 28 day summer shred 2021 challenge. Do you think I have my 11s in? I am gonna shower and get ready and then we'll do some after shots while we're still shredded. Okay, so challenge completed. Um, as far as results go, like I was kind of talking about towards the end there, I snuck away in and I hadn't lost any weight and that followed me through till the end of the challenge. So as you can see in my before and afters, my weight dropped like 0.4 of a pound. So like nothing happened. Um, the video of my before and after body looks a little bit better, but I think that's just because I decided to change what I was wearing and the lighting's different because we moved, so I had to readjust my whole before and after pictures thing, so there's a little bit of a changeover as far as those images are concerned. So I honestly, at best, I would say maybe I toned up a little bit, but not really noticeable enough to see a visual difference. So I am disappointed. I am not surprised, however. For me at least, losing weight is almost entirely diet-based. So that's what we gotta do. We just gotta rein in the food, gotta start eating clean, and that's gonna be that. So as far as what I thought of the challenge, I really did enjoy it. I like that that style of working out. I hate planking. Planking's the worst, so I hate that part of the workout, but I'm sure it's good for me. It might be a little bit hard on my shoulders, but not the end of the world. So overall, definitely a solid workout plan. This is kind of nitpicky, but 
like in each day section that that is on the Chloe Ting website, it tells you how long the workout's gonna be for the day, but they're always off. And they like consistently underestimate. They don't include the warm up and the cool down as part of the time estimate. And they also don't include like the full length of a video. Like they'll say it's a 10 minute workout, but really the video is like 12 minutes long. So the amount of time you spend doing the workout is typically if you're just doing the workouts and not the warm up and cool down, it's like probably like five to 10 extra minutes between clicking between videos. But if you add the warm up in, you're looking at like 15 extra minutes on top of whatever your, the original time is stated. But like I said, that's nitpicky. You just grow to expect that and it's not really that big of a deal. But uh, yeah, as far as the workouts are concerned, Good, makes me feel good. I think that's all I have for you guys. I'm sorry there wasn't a big results change. Obviously, I'm always hoping for more and when I feel like I've put in that much of an effort, I would love a bigger turnout, but we'll get there. We really gotta get there because I don't know if I've said this in a previous video, but uh, I have to fit in a specific dress for my sister's wedding. It was scheduled for last November um, and I had ordered my dress earlier in the year pre-pregnancy when I was at my fittest. So it's a tiny dress and this queen isn't that tiny anymore. So uh, now that they're rescheduled their wedding for a year later, I gotta get it tight. Gotta get it tight or that dress is not zipping up. So uh, we got to kick it into high gear with the diet. All right, I will not jabber on anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel if you want to see me get in shape. And I will see you next time. Bye.